Hi guys. You can just right. let me know um, if you want to ask any questions. Just raise your hand, please. So it's not quite a free for all. Thank you. Hi, Phil. You've had some. You can get us underway then. Games in the last twenty-two years, haven't you? Nice. Two hundred and thirty-six days since I saw Tower. Hi, Nick. 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 You know, I'm not going to shy away from that. It's a really significant moment and a, a day to cherish in the, in the certainly in the recent history of the football club. You know, if you, even if you take out this season, you look at the journey the club's been on the last 22 years, the ups and downs, the, the some highs, but some of the depths as well. Um, I think for the supporters to you know see their club win in the in the Premier League at a, at a club like Tottenham, a fantastic club in a stadium like this, and it's a team like that is is a massive is a massive day for them. For us who've been involved in the journey for the last couple of years, it's a you know really significant day as well to you know where the club was two years ago to now be competing in the Premier League over the first games is a big step. But to now, of course, make that next step and to win a Premier League game is is a really really significant landmark in the journey. And of course, for this group this season, you know it's. As we've said many times, it's a relatively new group coming together, um, trying to adjust to the Premier League and the demands of the Premier League, adjusting you know, many of the players to a new club as well. Um, it's a really significant step for them because we feel like there's been some good work going on since pre-season really. Um, there's been some improvement certainly over the course of the games. We feel like players are, are adapting and learning and we've been competitive in, in lots of our games. But of course, for this group, until you take that last step and win a game, that's always going to be, be held over you a little bit. So to, to do that today, to do it in the manner that we did and to do it against this football club is a, you know, a really big day for us. It's just off. We got the Nick Pot into the chilling pot, the dressing room, one of the sites of and what a role is he for like? <laughs> He did. Yeah, he's um he, he popped in and it was nice to see him and he congratulated the boys. Uh, and yeah, we had his his design kit on today, so maybe he brought us a little bit of luck. And everyone knows he's been an important part of um of the club in the last few years with the with the support that he gives us. Um, so yeah, nice for him to be here today. Just down the front. Kieran, uh, I've asked you this before, but when's Leaf Davies going to get an angle corner? <laughs> um, no, that's not. That's not for me. Um, England have got good players and, you know, competition in all the positions. And Leaf's a good player and he's improving. He's improved season by season. Uh, he's certainly adapting now to the Premier League and he's done that in the Championship. He's done that in League One. And if he keeps working as he is, then he's going from strength to strength. And if you do that, then, you know, other things take care of themselves. It's yourself. Hi. Thank you. No, no, I didn't have a feeling that it would be because of that. It is a really nice moment again. As you know, I come to this club as a as a fourteen year old and, and left home and have never went back. Um, so, yeah, it's it's nice to do it here. There's no doubt about that. My father was in the was in the crowd, um, and you know. Lots of people would be very, very proud. So it's nice to do it here, um, the club that I've got great affinity for, but also it's it's good to do it against a really good team. I have to say, Tottenham, fantastic team, playing really, really well at home, amazing atmosphere in the stadium. So to come here and do it, I think is is a little bit, you know, is is more special for everyone, and certainly for me, it's a it's it's a nice reflection as well. Sure. Here, when we spoke to you on Friday, you kind of outlined all the various ingredients that you would need to, to get a result here. Um, you certainly, I think, got a tick in, in all of the boxes, didn't you, in terms of the offensive play, the defensive play, the man management, so type decisions going going your way. Is that kind of how you envisage the game plan today? Yeah, I have to say, first half was, was pretty much spot on. Um, we know... For a team in our context, a journey we've been on coming away from home to a, a team in this context and of this strength, uh, you know, there's certain elements of the game that have to be spot on. And, and for us with, you know, the whole season, really, we've built such a, a brave identity of play that we want to stay true to. But we also know it's it's a huge step up and we need to be 
um, clever in terms of how we're going to compete for points. And I thought today our balance of that was really, really good. I thought we showed our identity in some moments where we pressed high in the first half and were aggressive and played with intensity and made it hard for Tottenham to build. We showed it in times where we played brave and, and built out from the back. We scored two goals, one where we controlled the ball with a lot of possession, another goal with a terrific goal on the counter-attack. Um, we we managed the game well. We controlled the set players well. We used them to our advantage. Um, our organisation out of possession, our discipline out of possession was terrific. And the subs had a good impact. And, you know, Arrow made a couple of saves and we were pretty clinical with, with most of our chances. So, yeah, in terms of the ingredients that you need to come here and get a result, you need a lot of them things to go right. And I think in the first half, we executed um, fantastically well. No, look, we had some injuries in the game that you can't avoid. Um, yeah. Of course, managing the game when you come to a place like this, they're fantastic at getting the ball and play quickly. Every restart, they get the ball and play really, really quickly and they, they play a pretty relentless game. So I think any team who's going to come here and try and get a result and certainly any team in our context, you're going to have to find ways to you know control the intensity of the game and I thought we we done that really well. Phil. Amari, fantastic game really over sort of intelligent running and the tireless running there is. Yeah, I thought... He did really well. I thought him and Liam led the team really well on the top end of the pitch. Um, and to have you know two twenty-one year olds doing that in the Premier League is is a really good thing for the football club, as I've as I've said before. So yeah, that was a big positive. I think again, I wouldn't like to talk about Amari and Liam without talking about Connor Chapel and George Hurst because a big part of our season being successful this season was always going to be our more experienced players who've been at the club for longer, setting an example for new players or younger players. And if you look at the last away game, the way Connor and George played, they really set the marker down for this is the demands of a number nine and a number ten in an Ipswich Town shirt, and uh, they've done that every single day in training. You do that then. And you have talented young players in the building. The talented young players can learn from that. And I think that has, has rubbed off on the on the two boys. And Liam and Omari, I thought, did a terrific job leading the team today. Yeah, he's just he's just tired, as you'd expect him to be. I thought he was he was outstanding, I have to say, against um, another brilliant Swedish player. Um, I thought his, his work on off the ball was top. George, it took a nasty blow right at the end. Um, is he okay? He seems OK. He's got a big bandage on his head. He's in good spirits. He had a knock on his knee as well, which I'm sure they'll check out, but he seems to be moving pretty well. Personally or for the club? No, no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, we'll have a few days off now. Um, of course, lots of the players go on international. Those who aren't international will have a few days off and then we'll be, we'll be back in by the back end of the week um, and got a nice long run into to another brilliant game after the break. Um, congratulations, Kieran. Thank um, you. Tottenham have got a great record of coming from behind, especially in Deal. Just wanted to know how did you contain it in the second half, especially after Len Tenko scored? Yeah, I think I think we managed the second half pretty well. You know that the momentum 2-0 we've been here before is a really tough scoreline and you know that you know they're terrific in the second halves um, of games, especially shooting against that end and you know that there's going to be some big momentum. But I thought we generally managed that pretty well. I mean, they've, they've scored a good set player where they worked a block and got their spur man in. But I thought we, we defended well. We always had a threat or an occupation to get up the pitch. Liam kept the centre-halves occupied. Omari carried the ball up the pitch. So it never felt like we were completely pinned into our box. It didn't feel like we were getting carved open and they were creating big, big chances. It was more, they had some pressure, they had some set players and of course they scored one of them, which can happen. So yeah, I thought we managed it well. They put lots of forwards on the pitch and they pushed the game well. But I think in general, the way we managed the second half, I think, I think we deserve to get it over the line. Yeah, I don't think it will change too much, to be honest. If you, if you, you know, felt the atmosphere in Portman Road this season, it's been electric anyway, so I don't know if it can go up too much. Um, our preparation's been thorough, our work day today has been really good, you know, People can probably let their shoulders back a little bit in terms of enjoying, probably more so for the supporters in terms of enjoying the season and, and looking forward to the game and not having it hanging over them of, of when the first win would come. 
Um, but for us, I don't think it changes much to the process. Uh, we'll get the players back after an international break, prepare the game as well as we can, and go and try and put on a big display at Portman Road against a great club. Let's go for our last question just down in the front there. Are you all good? Yeah, everybody okay? Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Just check, did you pop in to the dressing room before or after the game? After.